Sugar of Faith Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes. And today we're gonna do a mini unboxing of some PR. Going to do a look and uh, just have a little fun. So if that's something you're into, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. So are we ready to look at what I got um, from St. Angel Sinners? I'm very excited. I knew one thing that was coming in my package, but I didn't know everything. So this is pretty exciting. So the one thing that I knew was coming was a step spear. This is such an amazing palette. I am so excited to play with this. Um, here, let me show you. We'll just put down the mirror. Look at this. This is so beautiful. I don't even know where to begin. Do I want to do green? Do I want to do purple? Do I want to do orange? Do I want to do pink? Do I want to do darker greens? Do I want to play a little neutral? Do I just want to do all shimmers? There's the beautiful black in here. I am so excited. So this is Steph's so Pier. So we're gonna be, this is the one we're gonna be doing a look with for sure. I'm also gonna go um, live with my name twin. So with um, makeup, makeup therapy, we're gonna go live and we're gonna play with this on Sunday as well. So I knew that was coming. And then inside my box, there was also this, and this is a perfume. Um, Darcy's branching out into a few different things and loves perfume, and look at this little bottle. Of course, I had to spray it yesterday. It is so beautifully, like, fresh, citrusy, so nice. I was so excited to get this, so I had to spray it yesterday. It is so nice, and I always like the um, plaid packaging and the little buddies. So cute. Then she put in a few extra treats for me. So we have, of course, some information on Steph's Pier. We can talk about that. Of course, my little, little cards and note. And then she always does beautiful surprises and wraps stuff up really nicely. If you um, do any purchases, they also came, come beautifully wrapped. She takes a really good pride in making nice packages for people. So we've got this one here. This is so cute. Look at that. And I think I'm going to do this one first because it had the little extra bubble wrap. So let's see what is in here. And so again, a beautifully wrapped. Take off this nice ribbon. And then again, we have this nice plaid paper, Christmas stickers. And uh, yeah, it takes things take a little bit longer to get to me in Canada especially um, since she's based out east. Everything then will go through Toronto first and that usually adds up to an extra week. So what palette do we have in here? Oh, I really hate ripping the paper, but here we are. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Oh, excellent. So now I can have some fun with this. I got another copy of Secret Center Society. So that means I will be doing a giveaway shortly. But let's just make sure everything, because she beautifully packaged it, everything came in A-OK -okay shape. It did. So just, I won't put my fingers in it, but just so you can see this beautiful color story. This was it tied for number one in my best of 2023. This is a little but mighty palette. So excited. So there is going to be a giveaway. When? I don't know. I may want to gather some other pretties, but this will definitely be one. And then I've got one more little thing in here. Let's check out what's in here. I'm actually really excited to do a giveaway. That's going to be fun. And then let's see. All right, let's just tear her up. And this is the St. Angel Centers and Funny Butter best buds. Ooh, let's take a look. I know I've seen the inside, but can I remember the inside? Remember, we're old. All right, let's see. So there we go here. And ooh, look at that. This is an all shimmery palette. Oh, just take ooh, ah, plastic flying everywhere. This is this beautiful shimmery palette here. Look at this, how gorge. And thank you so much, I love it. Alrighty, so it's gonna be time to 
paint these eyes. So let's go. Okay, so we're almost ready to do our look, but I thought we would just look at this little card. So this was a collab with Not Your Basic Stuff and as well with um, Viva You're Pretty, I believe. And it says here, Hi beauties, I'm excited to share with you my first collab, Steph's Pier. Incredibly so grateful to all of you. Oh, this is um, Steph. I want to thank Darcy from St. Angel Centers for this incredible opportunity of, for making it fun and being a wonderful friend. And I want to thank my beautiful Scorpio sister, Avita, AKA Viva You're Pretty, for her amazing stylings that added the extra wow to this palette. Um, so about the palette, it says the cover is a homage to the pier and golden sandy beaches of the town I grew up in, a beautiful vacation stop for many. But more importantly, this palette is about my love for makeup and how that love has helped me through these past years. I was diagnosed with CRPS, which has taken away my independence. Um, yes, I looked up to that because um, there's a few girls in my group that have that and it's, it's a lot for somebody to go through. So it's like a chronic, chronic pain. Um, which has taken away from my independence. Creating Steph's Pure has given me a sense of achievement and renewed faith in myself. Makeup for mental health is so important, it's helped me and I want to share with you. Please feel free to contact me and join me on my YouTube channel. Also, I'd love to see your looks with Steph's Pure, so please tag me so I can share the love. All my love, Steph, not your basic Steph. She is absolutely lovely. She does some really great videos. Following her for a little while now, I would highly recommend checking out her channel. So let's play with these beauties because that's why we're here. So I'm going to quickly throw my hair to the side. This is after work. I just have a little bit of makeup on, no eye makeup. Um, I knew I was getting some packages in the mail today and uh, yeah, here we go. Well, this one came last night, but I also got a few others. So we're ready to go. So basically have everything except for, I want to do final, um, final lips. So I just have a little gloss so I don't look all dry and parched. And then I want to play with a shade in here for a highlighter as well. And uh, yeah, so this is the beautiful palette here. Oh, I think I should be able to read most of these without glasses. So that is cool. But they'll have um, names like uh, March Madness, Purple Rain, Nirvana, Angel, um, Sivirus, um, Red Carpet with a K, um, Simply the Best, Vamp, Pumpkin, Honeybee, Phoenix. And then they've got all these beautiful shifty shades on the bottom here that all look like they're white but they are not <laughs> so i can't wait to play with this so i think what i'm going to start with of course is um priming my eye with a little bit of my p louise oh i just don't know where to put this cover so i'm just going to put that down there and we will pick it up later and yes my mirror and we're ready to go so i'm going to prime my eye and then we're going to let that set for a second and then maybe we can try swatch that bottom row of shades to see which one we would like to use as a highlighter because we know i like to be seen from space and we all know that saint angel centers shimmers and multi-chromes and duochromes are nothing if not spectacularly blingy and shifty and i normally don't have any issues with um, fallout i will be careful because i think i am going to be using the black but because i always test those out but uh, yeah, so there we are. We are primed and ready. So there are six sh gorgeously shifty shades on the bottom. So we have got Butterfly, B, Apley Beach, Syracuse B-Ball, October Scorpios, and Destination Paradise. And then I'm just gonna quickly swatch those with my fingers. Oh my gosh, so beautiful and soft. So there is the first one, which was Butterfly. Now we've got B. Ooh, that's got to be a nice highlighter. Then we've got Apley Beach. Oh wow, these are all like, oh, crazy. Okay, and this is Syracuse Bee Ball. Oh, that's nice and peachy. That's really pretty. Then we've got October Scorpios. And there we go. Oh, that's nice. Hey. And then lastly, Destination Paradise. Oh, I definitely like that one. Oh, 
These are so gorgeous. But I think for highlighter, we're gonna use the second one called B. So I think we're gonna pop a, a little bit of that on our high point. I'm going to grab my nice um, dose of colors brush that I got in a free in a package. Yay, or as an extra bonus. So we're gonna go into the shade B. And you can see that it makes the brush all sparkly. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I picked the one that was the lightest. I think what felt like the lightest shade in here. A little bit more like a highlighter, definitely. So there we go. <laughs> They're like wet and shimmery. So nice. Did I drop my towel? Nope, there it is. Alrighty, yes. Look at that. Wet and shifty. Nice. Okay, so, 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 do we want to use the, hmm, I think, oh, these are just so pretty, um, you know, I always want to start with green, but the orange looks really, really nice, there's this shade called Pumpkin, uh, there we go, we got that shade there, so it's like a nice pumpkin -y orange, that is so pretty, and then there's this other shade called Poppy that is also really gorgeous. There we go, it's beautiful like pinky shade. But I think I do feel <laughs> like green today. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of the black cult rock and we're just going to do that on the outer corner. Being careful as to not to drop any. So then when you look at, when you're looking at this palette, each row, you can definitely do a beautiful color story for each row. You can also, in quadrants, look pretty cool too. Or, um, yeah, or mix and match. But you definitely, if you don't know what to do, you could do this column, that column, this column, this, this, this. And then you would definitely get six different looks using the columns and then mixing and matching. Like, so like this would be a nice look. That would be really nice together. Those would be really nice together. So you're looking at already at nine different looks that you can do in that way. So there we go. This is a very versatile looking palette and you get the black that everybody likes. And then because some of the shimmers are light, um, you can use some light shimmers if you're using the matte shades. I don't think you needed a white in here. I think just having the black is perfect. So I just wanted to do the outside because I always want to test the black, see if there's anything different. But to me, it is as beautiful as always. So there we go. All right, so we said we're going to do a green. So I think, uh, hmm, do I want to do a sh bright shimmery green or do I want to do a darker green? I think I want to do the darker green row. So I think we're going to go with this row here and we're going to go with the shade that's called Sinner and we're going to do that as our next shade. So that will be the kind of main um, matte here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in the center and then on the outer edge a little bit and I'm going to leave part of it, a little bit of a gap so I can show the shimmers a little bit more. This is a beautiful dark green. I could do that. Hmm. could mix and match rows and add that lighter green up front too. I'm thinking I'm feeling a little grungy today. I'm just gonna, definitely going to do lots of looks with this palette because again there's already nine looks that I can see. Um, already just by quickly looking um, or maybe even more than that 9 10 11 yeah there's quite a few different ideas that I've got looking at this palette so we're definitely going to use it a lot I also hopefully being able to do a live with um, Wilma as well using this palette using going doing a live with Manuela at makeup therapy so I think just even in that's gonna give me some use and then I'm gonna to wanna to play with this a lot on my time off as well as filming. But uh, I do like a beautiful green. All right, that's nice. So I'm going to take a big fluffier brush and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit without any extra color. Okay, I think I am gonna go into that lighter green called Nani. 
or Noni. So there's that shape there. So I'm going to go in that one. I'm going to do that along the top. I'm going to take this nice clippier brush here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that kind of do it along the edge there. There we go. Oh, that's, I like that green. That is really pretty. Maybe slightly going out of my row. <laughs> okay, so now that I've laid that out, I'm going to use the dark green on the bottom lash line as well. So that was the shade center. just a little higher. All right, I like that. Okay, so we brought ourselves some spray so we can play with some shimmers. So I think for the outer edge, we're going to use the darkest green in here, and this is simply the best, which is that green shade there. I think we will then use a little bit I think for the inner corner, we might end up using Destination Paradise, I think. All right, let's grab ourselves a little flat brush. Go in to Simply the Best. That is absolutely stunning color. A little bit of spray. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna use a flange test. They are so soft. Look at that. <laughs> but not crumbly soft. Like it's just nice, really nice to touch for the finger. Oh yeah, just a little extra padding. Just added that little bit of extra bling there. Super nice. Okay, then for the next one, this time we are going to stick into the row for that one. And we're going to go into the shade that is called Angel. So it is that kind of like mintyish green one. So we're going to do that up front. Find ourselves another flatty brush. Also, very pretty. Oh, that doesn't look super nice. First, I was like, did I drop some? But it's like, no, it's the beautiful shade we used as highlighter. Okay. Blending really nicely together, too. You can go from that light to dark. Let's blow up that so much. Oh! Gorgeous. All right, so we will sneak in a smidge of that lightest green on the other side shimmer, and that's the one that's called Nirvana. I think I'm just going to run that just along the edge. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. All righty, so we said we were going to use the last shade, and that was the one Destination Paradise. So we're going to use that one for the inner corner. Find the teeny brush. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do with a little bit of spray. See if it does anything different. blingy either way. Spray or no. All right. What do we think? Shimmery gorgeousness? Yes. All righty. So I'm going to go and do some finishing touches and then I will be right back. So here we go with our final look. All I did was put on a teeny bit of mascara, a little green liner in the waterline, and um, my hourglass red lipstick, because I thought this needed a red lip. Contemplated eyeliner, contemplated lashes, but 
I just love how beautiful it looks without any additional accoutrements. It doesn't need the extra accoutrements, 100%. So there we go. There is our first look with Steph's Pier from St. Angel Centers. There's going to be quite a few looks. So you can tell this is beautiful, went on beautiful. It's a blingy and gorgeous and there's just so many color combinations in here. I cannot wait. But when I'm testing stuff out, it's always good to test out the familiar things. So it's the black and the greens because I know I can do a look with that. Um, I'm definitely thinking some of the greens with the orange would look pretty fabulous too, but we will get to there. So thank you so much Darcy for this and thank you for working with Steph to make such an amazing, amazing palette. And I'm always also very excited to get our perfume, the um, Funny Butter Best Buds palette. Oh, so much more shimmer. And I'm so excited. If I, if I would be a horrible person, I would keep it because it's one of my favorite palettes. I love that other one and I think that little one's going to get totally used up. But I think there should be a little giveaway coming up pretty soon. Not sure if it'll be YouTube or IG or both, but we will see. And I thank you so much and I appreciate every little thing that you do. You're an amazing friend as well, Darcy. And so are everybody else in our little group. I'm a lucky lady. So that's it for me today. There's our wee little unboxing, our look with the Steph's Pier, and there we go. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends and we can play with all the things St. Angel Sinners together. As always, behave. Make good choices and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.